Redemption. We're really excited to take uh, what we see at home and what God's birthed at home out into different conventions and conferences and the songs that God's given us and really seeing God move from place to place. And bigger than leading worship and doing the music thing, our real heart's desire is to see kids take what happens at these conventions and conferences and youth nights and take it to their city and, and see lives changed through them. God has just basically hooked us up beyond what we deserve and being able to go out and share that with other people as an encouragement to see, hey, you know, God can use us, He can use you. You're the Savior of my life. You're the one that I defy. You're the only one who can save this world. The name of our, our youth group is uh, The Stadium, and it's from Modesto, California. And we have been blessed with the opportunity to have the largest venue in our city. Our youth ministry is, is basically uh, 600 kids that just come in and just looking for something real, looking for something different than what the world has to offer them. The best way I could describe it is 600 people desperate for a real move of God. Our role in that is just ushering in the presence of God and trying to connect them with the one who saved us. In 2005, our pastor um, encouraged us to have a worship night and bring out these songs that we wrote, about 25 of them. And that night, God just moved on the hearts of every young person that was in that room. Since that night, um, a year later, it was somebody from Australia named Henry Seeley from Planet Shakers Band decided to record an album for us and bless us. And we recorded an awesome CD. We are excited about the project and what God did through it. And ever since then, we've just been leading worship all over. I think we all felt a call in high school and even college or wherever we're at to just do something greater with the gift God has given us and to be honestly an inspiration to other youth groups and other youth ministries to break out of the mold of what they think worship is. And we all ran with that call and did everything we could to, to do it with, with everything inside of us. You know? We've seen it at home. We've seen that move of God at home. We want to take that that DNA, that's that, that thing that was birthed there and take it into other places. The name we're designed for came from, it says a twofold. Basically Christ felt like we were worth dying for. And on the flip side, uh, we live our lives in a way where we believe Christ is worth dying for. Our new CD cover has us standing there with blindfolds over our faces. And we, we're doing that as a representation, just saying that this movement that we want to see God do isn't about us. We honestly don't care if we're in it or not. We just want to see God move. Also, as we want to see a movement take place, that's something that you can't really see physically with your own eyes. The Word of God says, as far as you can see, I will give it to you. And it doesn't really talk about your physical eyes, but as far as you can see spiritually and have faith for, He will give it to us. I believe Revolution is a song that God put on my heart uh, for the youth of America saying that you don't have to give in to the world's pressures, that you can really live a life for God all out, full out for God, and really you don't have to go either way or stand on the fence in between. We are the sound of a revolution and we won't back down to revolution if they get it in our spirits and in our minds, you know, we can really run with that and see a change in today's world. All day I'm living for you. When I wrote the song Unite, I was in a spot of just getting fed up of religion, getting fed up of denominational barriers in all these different churches and seeing so many people get so caught up in religion rather than a relationship with Christ. And I wrote that as an anthem to say, united in this world, we're going to stand up for you. We don't care about what our personal beliefs are. We just want to see God lifted up. Oh.